This is Dabu7. A very important video here in understanding what's happening here on this planet. It's stories like these that are really, in my opinion, just breadcrumbs. For anyone that has the eyes to see, this is being dropped to let you see that it's on. They're going to the next level. And what they're doing now is they're dropping these seeds into the minds of the masses, planting them. That way, step by step, they're going to start releasing this information in a fashion that they like to try to push an ideology that they want on the masses. Now, here is the big thing. They're saying that they have just discovered this ghost particle found a mile beneath the ice in Antarctica, saying that it holds a key and a breakthrough in physics. The reason being is because they've been trying to find these particles and capture them for some time. When you have positive protons that come through the atmosphere, they bounce off of magnetic fields and it makes it to where they're almost impossible to, to trace and to track. Enter Neutrino. This isn't the first time you've heard me speak on Neutrino, and I'm about to lay the whole thing out for you. For those that don't know, it's really a big eye-opener on what's happening here. They're saying that the neutrinos are massless. They are perfect for the astronomers. They are subatomic particles that have no charge. And on most occasions, they don't interact with matter at all. Seems pretty key to me. So they're saying they discovered this and that they told the whole world as soon as they found this to focus their telescopes in the area where they discovered this coming from. And guess where it's coming from? The same place the shaft in the pyramid is pointing to. What are the odds of that? Orion. Why is it that the three pyramids align perfectly with Orion's belt? And now they're saying that this burst of neutrino light is coming from the same region. Hint, hint. Now, I'm going to take this a step further. For those of you that have been following me for some years, things are going to start to click now. For those that are hearing this for the first time, marinate on it. And when you go back and you do your research, you're going to come to find out this is very real, what I'm about to tell you. And it shows that the discovery of neutrino light is nothing new. Tracking neutrino light is nothing new. And we know this because classified information has been divulged by individuals that are no longer here and others that fear for their lives that have been involved in these, in these uh, missions and, and stuff that has gone on. And this all goes back to Roswell. The best example that you're ever going to see of neutrino light being given off is in a field that they want to tell you doesn't exist, and it's UFOs. UFOs are not what everyone thinks they are. They are, in my opinion, through all these years of studying, they are vehicles that are traversing space-time, multi-dimensional vehicles, and they're using this technology to shift between the dimensions. Now, when you do this, and this is scientifically proven in many of these instances, but not with the UFO, so to speak, because they want to tell you they don't exist. But with neutrino light, what we're getting is that every single time an authentic UFO comes into the region or an aircraft that has anti-gravitics and propulsion tied into it, they are poking a hole in the fabric of space-time and riding on the underbelly of it. And what this does when the spaceship enters our dimension and it comes out of 4D or 5D and it steps down into our dimension or the opposite, when it leaves 3D and goes into 4D and into 5D, any other dimension, it gives off a burst of neutrino light. This is the light that you see on any classic UFO, any real clip that shows a burst of light now are your wheels turning? You're starting to get it? This is what they've been doing. So they didn't just discover the secrets of neutrino light. They're just dropping breadcrumbs for you. Because what they've had, and we know this from individuals that have come forth and stated this, they have satellites equipped with neutrino light detectors. And from 
men that have come forth and stated this. This is why when a UFO shows up in an unknown region, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you're going to have military helicopters swarming it. Sound familiar? <laughs> this is because the military apparatus, a global military apparatus that has sold the people out, knows what's going on. And when they see this blip of neutrino light, they know one of two things have happened. Either they have entered or they have exited. Now, normally, if they can catch it in a fresh area where there's one blip, then they know that they came in. They send out their choppers trying to find them. But usually, they'll just blip out and they'll be gone before they can even get there. There's a reason why Fox News and all your major news outlets here in the past couple months have shown you broad daylight UFO activity from our soldiers. In case you missed it, go back and watch. They dropped several clips within the past few months showing our military over the ocean, broad daylight, tracking objects that are going thousands of miles an hour, and they're laughing because they can't explain what it is right in front of them. And it's ridiculous to me. You don't laugh at something like that. You open up your eyes and you realize there's something else going on right in front of your face. And just because you can't explain it doesn't mean you sit there and laugh it off. But yet, that's exactly what they tried to do. The same thing when Trump came out and said, we're creating a space force. All the lemmings laughed. He came out and he said it again. We're creating a space force. All the lemmings laughed again. Then he comes and says, no, lemmings, we're serious. We're building a space force. And people are, then it was crickets. Everyone's looking around like, is this guy serious? Wait, yeah, after all those that ran their mouth saying it would never happen, it's a joke, and where are you now? Of course, you're nowhere to be found. So where is this going? I've tried to tell you this whole time. There's something much greater and much more to this. Behind the curtain. It's so extensive, it's so vast that you're not ever going to get all the knowledge in one little 10-minute video. You're never even going to get it in one sitting and one night, listening for hours. This is something that takes time, something that has taken years for many of us. And for some of you that think you're just going to roll out of bed one day and figure it all out within 24 hours, you're sadly mistaken. It's not how it works. You better start getting dedicated to what you really want to know out here before time's up. If you want to elevate off this plane. You have to understand there are individuals here that are keeping the secrets to elevation hidden from you. So you do not succeed. Therefore, you can stay in a plane that they constantly control. Just like when they get the cats to sell their souls out and all this and all these industries, well, it's 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 done deal. It's game over then. They've got it. Next time they come back around, that same ent entity, that same soul, same spirit, it's in the possession of whoever they sold it out to. That's why it's not worth it. You can't take none of these material possessions with you. What we can do is try to set up a foundation for our offspring. That would be a righteous thing to do. So they can not be stuck in a slave system and they can find a way up, up out of this. And to overcome this, you really have to raise your consciousness above it. You have to let the negative pass below you. And there's ways of doing this. But of course... They're never going to teach you this. They only teach it to their youth inside their secret schools behind closed doors away from the masses. And it's these tools they're using along with sigils and everything else on the masses in mass that many do not see and never figure out in a whole lifetime. So if you want to know more about this, if you want to try to connect these pieces fully, and where this all goes, hidden history, mystery, space, the ancients. Well, I, for one, have studied the ancient scriptures of India, of China, and the Book of the Dead. The cities like Mohenjo-Daro, uh, the Vedas from the Indian scripts that tell of huge war that took place in the heavens. Real deal. And there's a reason why you go to some of these cities and they're radiated and turned to, to dust Glass, deserts, high radiation, it's obvious something happened there. And when the history says, yeah, there was a huge war here. The only thing that stops people from grasping 
the whole thing is the fact that modern day science and the society that you live in wants to say, oh, no, that can't be. Of course, they also want to say the same thing about the megalithic structures and don't want you to know anything about ancient Atlantis. Atlantis, Lemuria, Mu, the whole nine. Because what that does is it stops the evolution theory that they tried to put on everyone, that Darwin, they said, came up with, that we all evolved from this. When you go back and you find guys like the Aztecs that were using brick and mortar kind of crudely, stacking it on top of huge megalithic bricks that you can't even fit a piece of paper between, they don't want you figuring it out. But guess what? It's here. They, it's still here. They couldn't wipe it away from the face of the planet completely to lie to us. It is still sitting here all over the place. It's littered, showing you that there was a high, high civilization, even grander than the one we have today, that was here. And for some reason, they don't want you to figure that out. Join us, Underground World News Live tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. Going to talk about this in detail. Peace.